Okay, so we're, let's go to get started. So it is 12.07 a.m. March 27, 2018. So um, I'm just getting home at like about 20 minutes ago. Um, my work day started at 8.50 a.m. yesterday. So um, how do I still have energy and strength? It has to be the Lord. So a quick update with my physical health, spiritual health, mental health, emotional health, all that great stuff. So I got up at 4 a.m. yesterday and um, I stayed up until about 4.30ish, um, prayed a little bit, read a little bit, read Matthew 20, if I'm not mistaken, go and read Matthew 20, that will bless you highly. Um, meditating on, on that word all day today. But I went back to sleep because I was tired. My body was tired. My mind was tired. I was stressed out. So I went back to sleep till about 7.30 or whatever and got my day started. So I pretty much worked in the office all day today, which was highly, highly needed. Y'all just pray for me. Um, workload is crazy right now. But um, somehow, some way, um, I'm going to have to get it done. So Jesus help me, Jesus be with me. So worked my eight hours straight. Um, and then I went to the gym. So to be honest with you all, today was another struggle day. But somehow, some way I made it, by the grace and mercy of God, I made it. So it was just such a like push and a struggle to pray and read, to go to work, then go to the gym. And honestly, all through my work day, I was even debating about going to the gym. I'm like, I don't know, do I have to go to the gym today? I'm sure I could skip today. But remind you all, I have not been to the gym since last, this past Wednesday. So that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's four days of workout that I miss. And my diet, let's talk about the diet. Let's talk about my diet. And I'm not saying a diet as in I'm on, I'm on a diet to lose weight. No, I'm just saying what I've been intaking. So today, my diet was not the greatest. Um, I had Chick-fil-A for breakfast. I had a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. And I was kind of mad because I forgot jelly. But it's okay, though. But I got my tots. I got my potato tots with my Chick-fil-A sauce. And a medium lemonade. I know that wasn't the best breakfast to have, but it was cheap, it was quick. It sustained me for several hours. And I had about three packs of peanut butter crackers and a pack of, um, what are those crackers? The crackers you use for, use for s'mores. I ate a pack of those. So I pretty much just been eating like a whole bunch of crackers today and a lot of water and lemonade. So I know it wasn't the greatest diet today, but just to tell you, to let you know, like, Miss Kim trying, Miss Kim is trying, okay? It's not like I got a whole lot of accountability with this whole, you know, motivation with working out people. And so this is definitely um, a self-motivating season for myself right now. So I'm pushing through, like I told my friend last night. Special shout out to Hannah, Miranda, Miss Sharon, Kristen Lynn for all adding to my page. So I'm trying my best not to ramble on here, but I had to make a quick commercial. So right now I have 10 subscribers and I believe this is something to celebrate because Saturday night, just Saturday night, two two nights ago, just two days ago, I had six subscribers and I asked you all to help me with a challenge. And my challenge this week was to have a total of 12 subscribers by this Saturday. And we're almost there. We're almost there by two more people. So I really need you all to like, share, and um, subscribe if you have not already subscribed and encourage family, friends, co-workers, acquaintances, um, exes, whoever you know, 
to subscribe to my page because I need you all, I need everyone's support in this endeavor because some great things are happening right now, great things are going to be happening in the future and I like to share what's going on to help someone and encourage someone. So, with all that being said, um, I got off like around, I left the office like around 5.30 p.m. And once again, my, my gym, I go to One Life Fitness. If those, you all don't know that by now, you haven't watched the other videos, which is literally like walking distance from one of the offices I have to report to in Norfolk. So, um, anyways, I get to the gym and like, I'm like dragging, really. I'm dragging and I'm like, okay, I have a good amount of time before prayer. I'll go to the gym. So get to the gym, and thankfully I made I packed my gym bag before I left in the morning. And so first thing I did, see my I really like my gym, it's like the one in Norfolk. I really like the one in Norfolk. It has three floors and have a whole bunch of different stuff going on in there. I first checked to see was there a class going on. There wasn't a class going on that I wanted to go to at the time that I got there. I got there like almost. I got there like about. 30 ish something like that like I said it's walking distance from my job so I decided to go to the women's room like our gym has a room has a fitness room just for ladies so I went there at first I did some stretch stretching so my friend Doreen special shout out to her has always encouraged me to stretch I started out with a 10 minute stretch and I started getting pumped doing my stretch I think this is where I started getting really pumped and that I was thankful I went to the gym because I started stretching and the first time in a long time, probably the first time in like two years plus that as I was like doing a stretch where you're standing up and you're going down to the ground, I was actually, my hands actually was able to touch the ground. Now people, for me, for me, that is a victory. That is an accomplishment. And I didn't even notice what was happening. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm touching the floor. And it's like, I'm not like straining myself. I'm not, it's not like it's burning, you know? I'm, I'm actually able to touch the floor with my hands stretching. So that was a huge accomplishment with um, the stretching. So obviously, when you're working out and you're continually doing stretching you become more flexible so i'm thankful that um i'm on a road to being flexible because uh, i'm very stiff and you know stiffness and posture is just poor right now but i'm making great progress with that so just a matter of less than honestly less than two weeks less than two weeks um a huge progress with flexibility there and so right now with flexibility i need to work on when i'm sitting and reaching for my toes i need I, I need help with that because i'm still struggling in that area but god is good he's helping me out in this um so if y'all wondering why i got a coat on it's because it's cold like the temperature dropped drastically, I mean drastically. So um, I had my heat turned down like 65 this morning, came in, it's cold or whatever. Like it was like super cold in my house, but it was super cold outside. So I'm like, I'm just gonna keep my coat on, make this video. And then I started, you know, getting myself together for um, bed. So anyways, so then, I saw someone that um, that I haven't seen in a long time coming to the gym, and I was like, "When did you start coming to the gym?" And she's like, "She just started today." So it's always amazing to me how God works in these ways, because it's like it 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 never fails every single time. Oh, and for you church folks, this is actually a prodigal. She's a prodigal, meaning that she used to go to church in the past. And now, you know, but now she's not going to church and whatever. So I thought that was really interesting. And I'm like, wow, look at God once again. He always places me in, in places like that, like with people. And so um, definitely with prodigals, it's just always 
it's always been like that ever since I've went to Norfolk State for my undergrad degree. Always. I'm always running into prodigals. But anyways, um, so I really want to get on the treadmill in a women's fitness class. I'm at women's fitness room, but it was all taken. So I got on the bike. I got on the bicycle. And um, I did that for about six minutes, six, seven minutes. And I was on level four. And for those that knows about those machines, I was on level four. I did that for about six, seven minutes. I felt a little bit of burn. And then I left there and I went downstairs to the first floor because the ladies' fitness room is on the third floor. So I went down to the first floor to the um, movie, th like the cinema. They have a cinema. My gym has a cinema. So they have like this big screen where they play the same movie all day. And it's like different workout machines in there. So it's more like a laid back, chill area, just like the ladies' fitness room. So I get on the treadmill, and like when I walk in, like, because they have all the treadmills like in the back. I mean, they all was um, taken except for one. And I mean, people was going like, people was running like serious marathons today. And I'm like, oh my goodness, okay. So I get on the tread, it's like all the way in the back, in the corner. So I get on and um, it was a struggle at first and I, you know, I didn't really understand why it was a struggle at first, but then again, I haven't ran since Wednesday. Wednesday was my last day that I did, no, actually it was two, Tuesday. I did actually the real running on last Tuesday night when I did the 14.34, when I did the 14 minute 34 mile run, which I had broke the other one, but you gotta go back and watch that video. And so, but then I was like, I started getting encouraged, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I've noticed, I think, I believe I work out better when there's more people around, if that makes sense for me. I'm, I'm starting to notice that. I'm starting to notice I get a better workout when there's more people around. And so I'm starting, I'm just starting going, you know, so start running, start running a little bit, start off fairly slow, you know, gradually moved up. And then I start noticing I'm almost at a mile. And I'm like around like 11, like about 10 or 11 minutes in. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm almost at a mile. And honestly, I start giving up a little bit. And then I was like, no, because I start noticing. I'm like, I could beat last Tuesday's um, mile run. I could beat that time. So I'm like going, I'm going, I'm going. And then I start feeling like giving up again. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. And I start upping up the speed. I start upping up the speed. And I'm like, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm like counting in my head. I'm counting. I'm looking around. I'm trying to focus on one thing. And I'm just going, I'm going, I'm going. And my legs, I mean, I know my legs was burning. Legs was burning. You know, I, I felt my, felt the abs tighten it up. I felt the sweat on my back, my neck, my arms. Since the girl was getting workout today. But good news and bad news. Bad news is I did not beat my 14 minute 34 seconds. I came in 14 minutes and 50 seconds. I was so close. I was so close. Like, because honestly, I believe today, if I really had focus and if I didn't get on that bicycle earlier, I probably would have did a mile in 12 or 13 minutes. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm pretty sure of that. And um, I'm like, and the thing about it, and, but the good news, the good news was I did a mile. I did a mile. I completed a mile today. Thank you, Lord. Um, I want to say totally my workout was just about 35 minutes today. Like I didn't have a whole lot of time. I didn't, I didn't incorporate or implement a whole lot of time to be at the gym today. So my gym time was only about 30, so five minutes because I had 10 minutes of stretching. Then I had about six, seven minutes of the um, bike. And then I had 18, well, I had an 18 minute um, total, total of me on the um, tread. But I did a mile and um, cause I'm, count, I, I'm counting the cool down work out with that so the actual mile that i was trying to beat was 14 minutes 
and 50 seconds today. And it was funny though because the girl next to me, homegirl did, I don't know if these machines, see I'm starting to wonder are these machines right because homegirl next to me, I'm not trying to look at people machines and stuff and I'm learning to stay in my lane, stay in my lane like I talked about on Saturday night. Go back and watch those videos about road signs of life. But I'm doing my best to not look at other people races of life in life. I'm really am doing my best to stay in my lane, stay focused on my stay focused on my race. But homegirl, if my eyes serve me correctly, homegirl did three miles in 15 minutes. When I saw that, I wanted to ask the homegirl, was she a Marine? Like, homegirl did, bars, if my eyes are not lying to me, if that machine was right, homegirl did three miles in 15 minutes. And I was like, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, that's not something that I'm trying to desire to do. I already set my goal. My goal in August was to have a nine minute mile and by next April, a seven minute mile. I wanna be able to do a seven minute mile, no problem, with no problem. So, um, but that taught me too, to stay focused on my race. You know, I look at, cause I don't know, she could have been work, she could have been running all her life. You know, I don't know her story. So, but um, when I was fit, when I was almost done, pretty much all the people that I've, that was there when I first came in and had left. And it was this new girl there at the very end on the other side. And it was like, she was looking at me. And if you, I can't even, I wish I had a picture of her face. Cause when I finished running, her face was like, like legit, like her face was like, just straight up looking at me like that. Like, and she was just like doing her little, you know, walk slow paced walk. So it's like, I'm looking at the one girl that did the three miles in 15 minutes, like, what? And then someone else is looking at me like the same way that I was looking at the other person. So, you know, once again, I was reminded, you know, stay focused on my own race. I don't know everybody else's story. So everybody has their own race. Everybody has their own goals and accomplishments they're trying to do. So, um, but all in all, all in all, today was a great workout, even though it was only 35 minutes, which is fine. It's fine. You know, I, I got my body moving. I, I literally sat down all day today at work. Like, I wasn't out in the field. I wasn't moving around a whole lot. I was going back and forth to the different rooms in the office. So 35 minutes, I, I think I think that's great. I left there. I went to prayer um, every Monday night. Look here, y'all. If y'all in the Norfolk area, if you all are in the Norfolk area, the Hampton Roads, Norfolk area. Every Monday night, um, I, I'm in prayer for, it's, it's all, I guess it's always led by the singles, but it's open to everyone that's desired to pray. And so, um, you know, that time is this amazing time as well, because it's, you can actually breathe from the day and just have some alone time with the Lord, you know, get your mind refocused, your spiritual, you know, man, refocus. And so you could, you know, end your day um, outright. So have prayer, try to clean out my car because I'm like, look, I got to go Uber tonight. So cleaned out my car a little bit and it was so cold outside. Like I could, I didn't even want to clean my car out. I didn't want to Uber because it was so cold tonight. So, and then when I when I was ready to Uber, my Uber app didn't want to work. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, so I need some money. Like, I need some extra money for gas this week. I'm just saying, I'm just being real with you all, okay? Straight up. Sister girl needs some extra money for gas this week. So I'm like, because, you know, homegirl put, put um, gas on credit today. So, you know, that money going to be coming out. And I put gas on credit on Friday. So... You know, I want to make sure my account's straight, you know? Even though I get paid Friday, I want to make sure everything's good. You know, I'm not trying to just be walking around with zero money. I don't, do, I don't play that. I don't try to play that. So that was this year's goal. And like I said, I'll make a video talking about my debt-free um, goals and, you know, some other videos in the future. 
But um, just giving you all an update for today. So, yeah. Yeah, so my app actually started working when I drove home. When I drove into the parking lot of my apartment complex, my app went to work. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going in the house because if I go in the house, I'm not coming back out. So I turned that app on and sure enough, the first person I picked up is actually someone I picked up back in December. But um, I did three, I think it was three trips. So I made about 20 so dollars in three trips. So I'm gonna make a video about, of course, why you should do Uber, what you need to do if you wanna do Uber. So um, yeah, I made 20, 20 something bucks tonight, three rides, which is actually fairly low because I could make it easy 30 plus with three three riders, but tonight was fairly slow night. Most people just need to go somewhere that was close by. So I'm not, hey, I'm not complaining. I thank the Lord for these $20 because that's gonna help me out and then I'm gonna go back out Tuesday and Wednesday, the rest of this week actually. I'm gonna Uber like every day this week, for real. So, um, cause this is rent week too. So I gotta pay rent this week as well, so. And I gotta get some money for, um, I gotta make some money for my grocery run. So anyways, that is the video for today. We'll give you all a little update on what took place. Um, just wanna encourage you all, stay motivated, um, be encouraged. When you get that feeling where you don't wanna do something, just do it. When you get that feeling you don't wanna go to the gym, that's the time you need to go to the gym. When you get that feeling that you don't wanna pray, you don't wanna read your word, that's when you need to pray and read your word. So, um, just want to encourage you, keep pressing through, keep pressing through, keep pressing through. Um, that's the only way we're going to make it. That's the only way we're going to make it. And I know so many of us don't like getting out of bed sometimes, but we got to keep pressing through. That's the only way we can make it, only way. So, that's the video tonight. That is about 22 minutes, fairly long. But once again, like, share, subscribe, and tell me some things that you would like to hear from me. Um, talk to you all soon. Thank you.